Hi everyone, um, I'm just going to see if I can try and raise this up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing. That's it, that's fine I think, as long as I keep it in that, we mark the table <laughs> where to keep it. Uh, what I've got is this um, box and I'm just going to decorate the lid at the moment. So hopefully that's put back, that back in place. And I'm just using a quick dry tacky glue. And this is a technique that my granddaughter loves to use billy may you've seen her do this before when i taught her how to do this she uh, she did it on just about everything she could <laughs> and you just spread fairly thickly a nice coat of tacky glue on there um and then what i'm going to do is, oh i will put that to wash but i didn't really want to um, I'm just going to put some colours on it, if I can get into my inks. You just pour on your alcohol inks and you can see what happens. They go, you know, all over the place. <laughs> um, and I'm just going to put some brown on as well. Like that. Uh, and then you take your heat gun and we're just gonna kind of like bubble that for now doesn't matter if it's gone over the side at all I just want a textured top just gonna put some more colour on that I think I think we'll have a little bit of um, pink. I like lots of colour. I'm doing something like this. Uh, and I think we'll have a hint of blue. No. No, we won't. No, we won't. Let's have a look. I'd add a little bit more green, I think, because I do like my green. And I'm using, um, you know, different... I want to make sure that colours that. Cheers. Uh, let me get my paintbrush a minute. I'm just going to... I'm actually going to blend all this in, to be honest. I just want it to be um, a nice deep colour. That's perfect. That's exactly what I'm looking for. I'm just going to uh, dry that off and bubble it if I can. Yeah, it's starting to go now. See that going? Well, what happens when you bubble it? Once it cools down and dries, it will firm. You know, the peaks and that will firm. Now, I know Billy May likes to do two or three layers. She's uh, She loves to see it bubble for some reason, bless her. But it's how you get a texture on top. And the, the thicker the glue, the more it will bubble. And that's why I try and even mine out, so you get a fairly even texture to it. I think that will do. Now we do have to let that cool down. So I'm just going to take the lid off for a minute. Ooh, steaming hot in there. 
uh, and just leave that a minute to cool down and then while that's cooling down I'm not bothered about the inside of it but I am going to be doing uh, the outside and I'm going to do that black I'm just going to get my um, this is uh, black gesso which I do need some more must go and get some and I'm going to use the same paintbrush uh, that I used before for the glue um, and just give this a, a really good coat And it's just one of those cheap boxes from, uh, um, I think this came from Dollar Dollarama, I think it says, something like that. Not that fussed about the bottom because um, I can paint that black when the box is finished. I'm going to show you something in a minute. It's a project in the making and uh, I can't wait to get it finished to be honest. Um, because all the things Jim, that's the gentleman crafter, sent me, um, I do actually want to put to some use. I started a project using some of the things um, and there's no particular order to what I'm doing. I've just decided to start a project so I'm going to show you that in a minute now that's fine I'm fine with that what I might do is just the edges that's all just brush over the edges but I'm not that bothered about painting it inside yet like that and the bottom bit can be done shortly I'm just going to wash my brush and pop the lid on that and then while that's drying I'm just going to show you something now I've started this project and don't laugh <laughs> yeah a lot of texture on it I've used the modeling paste for this I'm just going to pull the camera oops pull the camera out a little bit and lift this up because as you can see there's a key in it that um, screws in and it's what Jim sent me now what I've done oops I don't want to break this is um, I've made a roof to go on there with chipboard. This is just a box I had, very similar to the box I've just painted. I've cut a door out of there. Um, I'm putting a little bar across here, but not yet, because this has got to be finished. And I've used the, um, you know, the rectangle book with the scalloped edge, the uh, mini book, and just made two wings, glued them together, cut them off and glued them together. And what they were, um, I'll show you now, is this section when I cut the book out, um, sorry, when I cut the roof out of the pages of the book, um, <clears throat> if you can, they were like that. So that's the roof bit that I've cut out, this V. Use that for the roof and put it together with the um, strips. Um, and then glued that onto the, the base of the box. But these I didn't want to waste when I had those left. Um, from each page that I used so what I did is I just chopped them like that and then put sat one on top of the other like that and then glued them as wings so my birdhouse now has wings um, and it's going to be a steampunkish type of thing so I've put one of these in here which the birdies can um, I'm gonna I might put a bird on there actually um, I've got this bar ready this is a bar that um, Jim also sent me it's like a keyhole. So I've turned this upside down and I've curled these inwards just to be different because they've got a hole here where the um, uh, pin would go but I'm going to hang something from the sides and if I can just show you this that's going to sit just there. And then the crown that he sent me which is fabulous, I love it, is going to go on top of my um, birdhouse when it's done. Uh, so you'll see that and... Uh, then it's going to be decorated up. But I need this dry because it's all getting painted black. And I will have to take that out to finish it off. But I just wanted to show you that because I'm quite looking forward to finishing that project. Uh, let's get back to the lid. Let's have a look. Yeah, that's fine. I like that because it's got a nice texture on it. So all I'm going to do now is to paint the sides of this. 
like I say, black. Just, you know, the edges. Just paint that black. Like that. I'm really getting excited about tomorrow. So, Judy, if you're watching, darling, I can't wait. Um, it's been a long time coming that we uh, meet. A few weeks. And, um, yeah. Ray's going to go off to the car boots. While I'm having a look round with Judy. And the girls. And I'm so looking forward to it. Um, it's going to be a fun day, I think. I am taking the camera, so I will be filming things while I'm there. Um... I'm going to get Ray to film me meeting Judy <laughs> for the first time. And I hope Pete's going to be there. That's Judy's husband. So that'd be nice to meet him. I mean, he's the, the one doing the cutting out of the shapes and whatever. And he's worked extremely hard. There, I like that. I think that's really nice. That's going to look fab. So I'll just soak my brush again. Just going to leave that to dry. And while that's drying, I've got some um, rub and buff. And I am going to use the gold on this. And I'm just going to go over the surface of that. Now, let's just have a look at this. You have to be careful because it's... I keep it in shot for you and it's just rubbing that over and it looks absolutely amazing when it's done just rub it over the surface like that you still see all the colours around it or over it should I say Shift that around a minute. I'll show you that again. I just want to get a little bit more gold on it. Now, if you haven't got rub and buff, use gold paint. Uh, metallic paints. Anything like that will do. I'm just going to show you that. And it just... You know, you see these in shops and they look so expensive and things like that and probably are nine times out of ten. Um, just going to show you that if I can. Look at that. Isn't that gorgeous? You can see all the colour in it. Nice uh, texture on the top. And um, what I'm going to do with this now is I'm going to add some of um, Crafty Embleys to it. see what I want to do is just to put this on now, I bought this from uh, oh no I don't know that Judy sent me this actually it's just that's all I want because you don't need a lot of decoration so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to paint that um, I'm going to paint that with the Inca gold and that's all I'm going to do nothing else just the Inca gold like that because that's going to really stand out on that project so again this is from the Crafty Embleys these are some of the new snowflakes that they've recently done the gold to stand out like that sorry if it's not in view I know Pete and Judy are, I think it's Pete going with her uh, travelling up tonight uh, to Kettering well up that way um, and like I say I can't wait to see them so that's going to be great fun tomorrow and if anybody else is going to the Kettering show, that's the Arts and Crafts show in Kettering, you know, um, look for us. <laughs> You'll be able to hear us probably. We'll be laughing our heads off knowing us. 
Uh, and now what I'm going to do is, I'm not going to put it on with the ordinary glue, I'm going to put this on um, using the glossy accents, and I did manage to get myself a couple of bottles, they came today, uh, and this will hold it tight. I'm just running the glue down the arms of the snowflake. I don't think I'm going to need much to hold that on. Um, and just put that on like that. I think that's going to be fab. Just let that set a little bit. Um, and then around the edge, so I'm going to keep hold of that. I'm just going to get the ink of gold out again. Um, because although I've painted it black, um, I just want to rub it a little bit with some gold. Just like that. Like that. And that really sets it off nicely. Yeah, I like that. Isn't that fab? I hope you can see that. And something so simple, so easy, doesn't take a lot of work, um, and it really does look awesome. Now, the only thing with this, now I'm going to put that back on. See, that's a nice, gorgeous gift box now. Um, this is a bit plain. So what I am going to do is... Um, oh, I was going to do that, wasn't I? No, no, I'm not going to do that. I was going to, change my mind. Put those in there. Um, what I am going to do, if I can find my trim. Find the trim. Oops, lazy. Dropping everything. Um, yeah, I've got some black trim. And it's just... Very fine um, braid, and what I'm going to do, I'm going to put that there actually. I might not have enough to go, I don't know if I've got enough to go around there, and let me just check. So that would be that. Would I have enough to go around? I think I haven't. <laughs> let me see if we've got another one. Do you remember I bought this? This wasn't from Miss Garden Grove. This was mine. <coughs> I bought this. Uh, I can't remember when I bought it, but it wasn't from... I know she sent me some in silver, but I already had this in gold. So what I'm going to do, uh, because it's black and gold, and I don't have much black and gold. Oh, and please keep your eye out for next week. My boxes will arrive from India Monday or Tuesday. Hopefully Monday. They should have been here today. And I'm, uh, there's some awesome, awesome stuff. I really can't wait to delve in and just see what uh, Lucky managed to find. See it in person. Some gorgeous flowers. Humongous flowers. No, they're not that big, but they're pretty big. Um, and lots of trimmings and all sorts. So please, please save your pennies. Don't go mad. Because you won't want to miss out. So what I'm going to do is, um, I'm actually going to put this on the lid. I'm going to put this one, am I? No, I'm going to put it on the base. So I'll just take the lid off for a minute while that's drying. <coughs> Excuse me. Uh, and I'm going to attach this to the base. Now, I am going to glue this on. You don't need a lot of glue. Like that. Now, I've done that wrong like a silly old, haven't I? Because it won't bend round you, Nana. That will now. <laughs> I never thought of that. Nana. I just want that like that. I'll take that off. Oops, it is it. Let's see. It'll peel off, don't worry. That was my own stupid fault. So I didn't bend these enough so just pin that on like that 
bend the butterfly, that's what we can do, just take that off. You can touch up with black, it doesn't matter. I have to bend that butterfly, perfect, that just finishes there. Like that. Like I say, I will paint the base of this, it doesn't matter that. And oh, glue strings. I'm just going to pop a little bit of glue under there. And sit that down. Like that. And then anything that needs touching up, I can do that. Um, I don't actually know whether to put that on the on there as well. I could do, couldn't I? I might do that actually. I instead of using the black, I might just do that. So I'm just gonna attach that at the moment just there and then run the glue across the top to there and what I'm going to do this time is snip this off because the lid is slightly wider than the base was so and like I say everything can be touched up you know you've no problem there So there's it, quick get on there. That's it. And just run that down the edge. Like that. That piece we can bend. Run that down the edge again. going to bend that wing. Now that's, that's what's great about all of this, you can actually um, bend them into place. So I'm just going to do that and then I'm going to chop that bit off and then glue that bit down. Oops, take that off. Like that. You get a bit of a mess but I can pick all of that out later and put the glue gun on it, touch up that little corner. And, you know, there you go. You've got a really nice little box um, that you can give as a gift. So what I'm going to do now with that one is um, I do have some pearls, flat back pearls, not that one. one underneath, I think it is. Uh, oh, I don't know if I want to use them. No, not those. Let's have a look and see what we've got. Not too sure if that could go. Mm. No, not with that. <coughs> but let me have a look, see what I've got. just see now I like that a little bit of bling with a bit of wood how's that and I'm just going to uh, sort this bit out so we'll just pop that on there like that And there you go, a perfectly nice box that you can use as a gift box. Very simple, very easy to make. Just take all the glue bits off. and Like I say, I can touch up with all of this with the uh, black. I need to touch that little corner up there as well. Um, but isn't that fab? 
and that looks great. So I hope that helps you to, you know, just very simple, basic things. What's that? Right, I'll have to touch that up because I've just put black on it somehow. There we go. Just touch that back up. And I like that. And I think that looks really nice. Simple. Easy. But looks fab. Thanks for watching. I'll speak to you soon. Take care. Bye-bye for now.